is the one I had the most fun doing. And I think was like probably like the most beneficial as far as like cardio and building endurance goes. Um, so this one would be like, also like maybe like a weekend workout or even like, like towards the back half of the week, I might like a Friday workout again, just like kind of fun. So it's a run, swim, run, and you can even make it a run, swim, run, swim if you want. So basically what I would do is I'd like drive up to the pool. Um, and I had like a nice little area I could run like across, like basically like along the side of the road. And it was like a three mile stretch. So I can make it like a max of six miles. So I would do like varying distances. So a go-to would be like run two miles and you finish your run at the pool. Then you hop in the pool and do like a 500 meter swim. And you're doing these at a pretty hard effort, like close to like a max effort, you know? Um, then you do the swim, hop out and do another run. So you do another like two mile run. So that would be like a normal run, swim, run. And then sometimes I'd do like a run, swim, run, swim. And I'd add like another 500 meter swim. And I think the max I did was like run three miles, swim a thousand, run three miles. And then I'd swim like another thousand. And that would be like a long, long day. And that was like a really enjoyable workout that I thought was pretty beneficial because you kind of do a lot of transitioning in A school too. You don't necessarily go back to running. You know, like in A school, you do like your PT in the morning, you go to the pool. You don't necessarily go back and run anymore during the day, but it was nice to like know that you could and that you had the endurance to kind of last like a long, like two to three hour workout like that. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you ever did anything like that. Just kind of. Um, well, it, I, I've come to find it sometimes it was a little hard to do the like run swim, like logistically. Like, what, what's your advice as far as that goes? Yeah, that one's just like, it's like a pool by pool basis. I had, I was in Florida. So like the pools were outdoors and all you do is walk through a gate. So it was easy. But yeah, if you're in the, if it's the winter time, obviously that's not going to be like a really like, in your, if you're in the Northeast or like anywhere in the North, in the winter, you can't really do that. You know, it's kind of, yeah. it can get dangerous. You could do like a treadmill, but then it's hard because you got to dry off and all that. Like in Florida, I could just transition. Like I could be wet still and just throw some, like, I could just wear my freaking swim trunks, you know, and then I could just put shoes on and go run. Um, so that one does vary based on where you're at. Um, if you're like in the North or in the winter somewhere and you can't like transition like that, you can just like increase in tr transition time. So like five to 10 minutes, you know, like just try to like dry off as fast as possible and get in the pool or like get out of the pool, you know, dry off and then get on the treadmill or whatever. Um, obviously like the lower, um, like the lower the transition time, the better, but do what you can. Yeah. And that's something I wouldn't do. Like I do that like maybe like once, every few weeks. It wasn't like a weekly thing, you know, it was yeah. like a fun workout. So, um, the time I would personally do that was when I would do the, like helicopter rescue swimmer PT test. So 50 push ups, 60 sit ups, five pull ups, five chin ups. And then I would, uh, transition into that one and a half mile run. And this was in Hawaii. So I could just literally, they wouldn't give me much time at all until I would yeah. do the 500. I would just kind of jump in the pool because I was wearing a t-shirt already. They wanted you to wear the t-shirt and then yeah. transition to that and then the underwater. So it was really like getting, even getting into a school because there was that lo logistics time of swapping gear out. Yeah. Yeah. My PT tests in Hawaii were definitely harder than the ones in a school because of that. Yeah. Like, because a school, yeah, there's like a process to get in the pool. You got to go in the locker room. Yeah. And then they call you out room. and you're like, oh, it's yeah. fine. I'm rested now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Except for like, if you're getting ready to go out for like a grinder or like a PT session or like a pool, you know, like water con session, you get like nervous standing in the line there. Yeah. But for, for a PT sure. test, you're like, ah, let's go. Like, we're good. <laughs> I remember that. And it, like, for all you guys that are worried about some kind of like Navy SEAL PT test or, or you know, PJ or rescue swimmer, it's not that like, if anything, you should get so comfortable with that test that it becomes your rest day. And when you hear them totally. say that you're doing that today, you're like, Oh, thank God. Like, like way less stress. stress than I thought would happen today. Yeah. Like, yeah. Woo. I used to get <laughs> stoked. Like, yeah. like, all right, we're doing a PT test today. I'm like, hell yeah. Like, let's yeah. go. Like, yeah, like even like, it's just nice. Yeah. They would always say that intimidatingly too. And we're, we're, we're all we're like, Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. oh no, not a PT test. 50 push ups. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, like, yeah, like towards the end there, they were doing, I think the Coast Guard was testing out like a new PT test for the for the general Coast Guard and they used our swimmer class as a test yeah. for whatever. So we ended up doing that. So we had a couple of days where we just did a random PT test as a test group for the Coast Guard and that would be our PT for the day. It was nice. But that was after our multi. Like, we were just kind of chilling, anyways. Oh, so um, after a brutal like it was session thing. Multi, so like we had already like pretty much passed. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's it different. was still nice because sometimes they'd still PTS, you know, after the multi and stuff. So yeah, yeah. It was nice. Um cool. My number one. 
Mountain Goat Mile. The oh. Mountain Goat Mile. So this is again one of those get rich quick workouts. Um, so if you're short on time, I, I believe you know with swapping out equipment and everything, it, it should hopefully take you under 20 minutes. Um, so it's, a, it's this is a mostly leg workout, but it does work out your whole body as well. Uh, but definitely mostly focuses on cardio and legs. So it's really beneficial if you have a CrossFit gym for this or backup would be just a large parking lot area. So if you have like a on crowd of Walmart or just somewhere where there's room, um, you can use that, but make sure it's flat because you'll see why in a second. Um, so the f- I'll, I'll just run through the whole s- like obstacle course, if you will. So this is where you, why I say CrossFit gym is if you have a sled, that's what the start of this exercise is. So you put, personally, I would put like three to four plates. So 45 pounders on the sled and you start by pushing this. And the substitute for that would be you can push a car. Honestly, like it, it works. Um, it's not that hard. Depending on your car, it's not that hard to push a car. So you push a car and you do that for about, I believe, a hundred yards. And then you, so you do push t- a car for a hundred yards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can guesstimate it, whatever, like you think your workout's good. I mean, like, I, I don't yeah. think you have to measure it, all this, but you know, yeah. just keep yourself accountable and, and do what you feel is like a good workout for yourself. So push a car or the sled easier. And then you do 20 push ups. Then you pull the car or the sled, which is easier on a rope, but backwards. So you would need to tie it to like your bumper or, or not your bumper, but like the hook, um, the tow hook. Yeah. So, and then you're pulling it backwards on a rope. So like just the, managing the slack is definitely a good workout and it's working your calves and the back of your hamstring. So you're pulling the car backwards, 20 push ups once you're done with that. Then you're going into, uh, dumbbell carries. Are those, oh, those are called farmer carries, right? Farmer carry, yeah. yeah. Farmer carries, uh, at whatever heavy load works for you. And then you run that a hundred yards. So you're just carrying dumbbells like on, on your side there. Then you do 20 push ups. Then you sprint 200 yards, do 20 push ups. You're going to then lunge for a hundred yards, 20 push ups. Then you're going to do frog jumps forward. So like you're frog jumping forward, another hundred yards, 20 push ups. Then you're gonna fireman carry. Uh, I used to do it with like a big sandbag that was really heavy actually, but use whatever is heavy that you can put over your shoulders. Um, and then you're gonna run with that 200 yards. Then you're gonna do 20 push ups, and you're gonna run 200 yards to your finish line or wherever that is. Um, if you have a CrossFit gym, hopefully there's like an outdoor area there usually is so you can like run your sprints there. Um, and then time that and Again, it doesn't quite matter the specific distance you do, as long as you keep doing that same distance and keep trying to beat your own record. And hopefully you have like a workout buddy. And that's what was fun about this workout. It became, it's like an obstacle course, but you know, you're racing your buddy's time and you can, you know, you can text him or whatever and be like eight minutes, 10. And then you're yeah. like, yeah, seven thirty, And then like, you, you know, you keep going that way and it's a killer workout. I like would die the first like two, three times I did this, but then it progressively got easier and my time got, I think I like halved my time by the end of it. So yeah. So I'll just repeat it. Mountain goat mile. You start with pushing a sled, then 20 push ups, then pulling a sled, 20 push ups. Then you do dumbbell carries or farmer carries. Then you do 20 push ups. You sprint 200 yards, 20 push ups. You lunge a hundred yards, 20 push ups. Frog jumps forward for a hundred yards, 20 push ups. Fireman carry. 200 yards, 20 push ups, and then 200 yards sprint to the finish line. Um, now we go mile. That's legit. Did you name that? No. No, uh, another helicopter rescue. Uh, oh, cool. And then this guy 